So when we look at the numbers, I will say that, frankly, things have not been going that well for Shibarian. Okay, as always, this is not financial advice. This isn't FUD or anything like that. But we can see what's happening, right? It's all on chain. The information's all public. 14,000 transactions per day. That is tiny. One of the lowest days of transactions we've had recently. In fact, the lowest bottomed out at 8.32K for transactions. And in fact, the growth metrics have slowed as well. You can see yesterday, 15 new accounts. That is tiny, all right? Active accounts continues to drop. So this is what it looks like when people stop supporting your cause, all right? I want people to take a good look at this, all right? I want the SHIB development team to take, uh, SHIB ecosystem development team to take a good look at this. Your plan is not working. You need to make some changes, okay? This should be that wake-up call. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, the SHIB ecosystem is going to fail. I'm not saying that, you know, Bone is going to crash. I'm not saying nobody's going to utilize it. I think right now, obviously, part of this is just being a victim of a bear market. Right now, everything's not that exciting. There's not a whole lot going on. I'm sure when there are launches that happen on Shibarium, you know, when you bring over ShibaSwap 2.0, when the metaverse is launched, when all these other projects in the ecosystem do, in fact, launch, it's going to be beneficial. You will bring people in. People will start utilizing the chain. Great stuff, right? But for now, if you want to get people on board with things, you got to make some changes. You got to do some things like raising the burns. You got to do some things to promote growth, promote development, promote on-chain activity. Because right now, again, there's just simply not a whole lot going on. Block size is almost nothing. I mean, right now, everything is, is flat, okay? Now, you do have a major competitor, that is, in fact, going to be coming out in the SHIB Association, right? They're going to be launching a chain themselves. We'll see if they do, in fact, like a fork of Shibarium or if they do a fork of something else or create a whole new chain entirely. But your major competitor is going to be the community that you tried to build around. I hope they understand and realize that because if that is, in fact, the case, if they don't make changes, if SHIB Association launches and it's good, it functions well, what do you think the SHIB community is in fact going to use? Then you're looking at comparing a community of 1.3 million versus a community of 90,000. There's no comparison between the two. Again, this is kind of needs to be a wake up call. All right. This isn't FUD or anything like this. I think, honestly, I think both have opportunities to succeed. SHIB Association, they create something good, can get big adoption, big community already. And that's a great thing going into a bull market cycle. Obviously, with Bone and Leash, you know, being as young as they are and not having seen that bull market growth yet, huge potential there as well. So the point is, is we don't know what's going to happen, right? Right now, we're probably seeing the worst of what the SHIB ecosystem is to bring because, again, it's a new chain, there's no launches, and we're in a bear market. So, but I want this to just be uh, an awareness moment for everyone. Know what's going on. Pay attention to the data. It's something to monitor. And I'll obviously keep you guys updated as there are changes that happen within the ecosystem. So I appreciate you as always. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Show your support below. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.